All right, Roger. If you're going to put uh, $67.50 down, I'll need you to pick the high payment, save the most money, or low payment, most flexible, or best of both worlds. Which one works best for you? Uh, you know, Steve, I'm okay with the sixty-seven fifty, um, but I'm not okay with that uh, nine thirty to nine forty payment. Let me guess; it's the highest payment anyone's ever showed you. Yes. Okay. Um, we see that every single day, um, and this is also the nicest vehicle you've ever driven, right? Yeah, it's pretty close to it. Okay, I need your okay right there, so we can get this vehicle ready for delivery. I just can't do the payment. Okay, um, there's a couple different ways we can change the payment, all right? Because remember, the payment's uh, basic math. You're putting $67.50 down. For every additional $1,000 you put down, it'll reduce the payment right around $20, okay? So if you want to reduce the payment by 60 bucks, get it all the way down to, you know, in the eights, put down another $3,000. Or how much more could you put down? Uh, man, $67.50 is all I got. Okay. Um, another way to change the payment is to extend the term. I could look at 66, um, 72, 75, even 84 for you. Would you like me to uh, look to see if you qualify for extended terms? Man, uh, no. I mean, at 60 months is the max I want to go. Okay. How would a payment of $100 a month less sound to you? I think that would be good. Okay. Yeah. So we've been moving in the right direction, right? Yeah. Look, um, Roger, I can reduce your payment by $100 a month. Okay? Okay. That's not a problem. The problem is what you'd end up driving. Look, you're looking at a 22 BMW. If I could find a 20 BMW. By the way, this one has 11,000 miles. It's basically brand new, right? I yeah. mean, you, 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 you know the vehicle. If I could find a vehicle maybe two years older, maybe had 50 to 60,000 miles, I could reduce the payment by 100 bucks a month. But I don't think you would want to do that, would you? No, I don't want to go. I don't want that vehicle with that many miles on it. Okay, look, let's think about this, this for a second. You got a phone there? Yeah. Pull up your calculator. You tell me $100 less would be a whole lot better payment. You'd probably do it, but you wouldn't end up with the 22 BMW. You'd end up with something significantly older. Yeah. But it's not really $100 a month that's stopping you, because what's $100 a month divided by 30? $3.33. Roger, do not tell me that you're going to let $3.33 stand in the way of you taking delivery of the coolest car you've ever driven. I need your okay right there. No, I can't. Okay. Roger, do uh, keep that calculator out. Okay. Divide forty-four hundred four four zero zero by five zero three seven three. Should give you a fraction. Point eight seven. Um, try it again. 4,400 divided by 50373. 50373. Yeah. That's 50,373, correct? Yeah. 0.87. I don't get it. Okay, 0.087. 0 0.087. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a big Sorry, difference. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to round that to 9. Okay. That's 9%. See, Roger, this really isn't the payment. For your BMW. This is the BMW. This is the payment for your BMW and your Silverado. Okay? Okay. Multiply 941 times 9.91. Point, oh, nine, one, point, no, nine. point nine one. No, point nine one. Eight fifty six. Roger, the payment for your new BMW is $856 a month, okay? The payment for both of your vehicles 
is $941 a month. Now we can do this one of two ways. Way A, you leave here with an $856 a month payment, but you have to add $4,400 in cash. Or B, you keep the cash wherever you have it and you leave here at 941. Which one of those works best for you?